Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a simple five to 10 minute get ready with me type of video. I did see this girl Meredith on TikTok. She filmed like this 10 minute get ready with me video. For me, this is basically what I do every single day. I added a few steps because every single day I kind of skip like concealer, I skip primer. So the very first thing I do do, do, is I put SPF. My favorite one is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. I like this because it is ultra light. I don't like it when a SPF is so heavy that it kind of makes you feel like there's so much gunk on your face. It's uh, not working. <laughs> By putting this on, I kind of already add a light moisturizer and an SPF, so kind of feed two birds with one stone, you know? With SPF, we want to make it sit for like 15 minutes, but that will remove from the five to 10 minute tutorial of this video. With me, as soon as I finish washing my face, I do put my skincare and SPF on top, and then I proceed to changing my clothes. And once I finish changing, my SPF's already set. This is just an added step. I do love this primer. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I know they have one with niacinamide, but that one, I use niacinamide every day, so I don't need that one. It's new. Do I want it? Yes. Do I need it? No. So I'm going to use one and a half pump of this. This one is so far my favorite primer. I have tried their Petty Primer, so I actually have a video on that, and I'll link it up here. <laughs> and I don't like those very much. I don't think they did anything for my skin. I think those are more catered towards people with dry skin tone. Skin tone. With dry skin, I like this power grip primer. I don't like using it all the time just because it's an added step that I don't have to do. I only like to use it when I'm wearing heavier makeup, not necessarily when I'm doing this where it's really lighter makeup. But I'm just adding it as an extra step for you. You can totally skip this. Next is foundation. Yes, I do use foundation on the daily. I've been using a combination of two different foundations because I like how they look together. They actually are a very good combination. This is the one size turn up the base foundation and I mix this in with the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I tried using them by themselves and honestly, I don't like them by themselves. It's weird. One day I was like, you know what? I'll try to put them together and it actually works. I put more of the positive one versus the one size just because of the tone difference. The Rare Beauty one is slightly too light for me and the one size is slightly too dark for me. I'm using this really, really cute blender by Wet n Wild. This one came with their Halloween collection and I'm using it dry. The reason why I like to use it dry is I'm lazy to go to the sink and wet it. <laughs> I have been working out a little bit more than usual. Usually one pump of this and half a pump of this works. I have been enjoying my birthday week and enjoying my birthday week means skimping on my skincare. So I'm suffering the consequences. In my opinion, my skincare is on point now. When I say on point, I really, really like it. And I'll probably make a video of how I went from having so many pimples and scarring to what I have now. I'm not saying at all that my skin is amazing. I'm just saying it's so much better than it used to be. I used to like pack on products, like try on everything that I can because I just wanted to find what fit me. And then one day I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm doing too much. My skin is getting confused. I should stick with what's simple and what is known to be good. And so I created a step. I did some research. I watched some videos. I created a step that works for me and a routine that I'm not so overwhelmed by. Sometimes when you make routines that are very, very complicated and overwhelming, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to get lazy and you're going to be like, you know what? F this. I'm just gonna sleep in my makeup. So I actually don't put concealer at all, every day at all. I just put my retinol cream. But for the sake of this video, I will be putting a little bit of concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. So I'm just trying to do how they do it on a TikTok where you put like, you put it in here and then you put it outwards over here. And then I also like to put some over here on my redness around my nose. When I go to work, I'm not super conscious about concealer, under eyes. Everybody's got under eyes and it's totally normal. It's only when I go to like, you know, events or when I want to treat myself and go somewhere fancy, which I never go. That's the only time I'll actually think about doing that stuff. Now I will set with powder. So the compact powder I really, really like. I actually ended up using it all up and then it broke. 
is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I love that for the under eyes. I also really like the L'Oreal one, which I'll be showing over here. And now I'm trying this Revlon Color Stay one. This is in the shade Light Pale. I think it's a good, um, good compact, very basic. So at this point, I'm just um, setting my under eyes and then I'm also setting the concealer under my nose and also like just patting that powder throughout my face because again I am on the oily side. Next is gonna be brows. I found the GXVE. This is the brand by that singer. Gosh, what's that singer? I want to say saying Gwyneth Paltrow or something. Have you been watching her trial? I have been following that to a T. It is so entertaining. Gwen Stefani, there you go. I don't like them very much. I have the shade 2, which is more of a taupey color, and 5, which is a darker shade. The taupey color, I like to focus on the inner corner of my eye, and then the darker shade, I like to draw outwards. What I absolutely hate about these, look at that. How do you know which one is the brush and how do you know which one is the pen side? I always forget. I always like go grab it and get the brush side when I want to use the pen side. So this one, as I said, the lighter side, I just kind of darken my inner area of the brow. When I was younger, I used to like really get them thin. That was like whole look back in the early 2000s. Super thin brows, pencil thin brows. And now it's all about the thick natural brow. And I'm just so glad because my, not, my, my brows are thick. My brows are like little caterpillars. <laughs> and I am happy that I don't have to really do all that stuff anymore. Okay, so my battery just died actually. So I had to recharge because I don't have a continuous power source yet. This is a new camera. Next, I'm going to be brushing them with the other side of the spoolie. And again, my brows are going to be a very, very um, natural type of brow. I don't want to do the, you know, the earlier 2016, 2015 brow game where it was so chiseled. We had to put concealer to line everything out to make sure they look super clean. I'm not about that. I'm so glad we're not in that era anymore because that was really hard for a girl with really like brows like me. It's hard. It's, it's, it's really hard. So the next item I'm using is the NYX The Brow Glue in the shade Taupe. I'm so glad they came out with colors for this product. I also really like the Thick It Stick It by NYX. But to be honest, I kind of like the glue a little bit more. It just keeps my hairs in place longer and I like that look. The thing with the um, NYX Brow Glue, you do have to work pretty fast because it does set pretty fast and it gets really like sticky almost. With the brows done, I move past my eyeshadow. I don't use eyeshadow at work and I don't normally use eyeliner either, but for today I will use eyeliner. The only time I ever use eyeliner at work is when I have plans after, like for example on Fridays. Most Fridays I have, who am I kidding, not most Fridays, some Fridays. I have plans after work so I kind of like to put the wing liner just as like a thought after work. I look pretty good. But again, this is not something I do on the daily. So the liner I like to use is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I like to keep it really simple and really um, small. I don't want to make it like overwhelm my eye. And again, this really depends on how you like your wing liners. But let me just stop talking for a while. <laughs> So you can see I just did half an eye. So I kind of just continued my eye and just elongated my eye. I don't do the whole eye wing. I feel like that's too much of an aggressive look for me when I go to work. So next is my mascara. So again, you can totally skip the wing liner. I do it only when I have something to do after work or when I'm wearing a good outfit. So contrary to the whole lash gate drama, I actually really like this. I have a TikTok video showing the like eight hours of wear. The only thing I don't like about this is it does not last long on me. My ultimate favorite is the Lash Paradise. That one lasts so long on me and I've... If you look, if you search on any of my videos, you will know. I love that mascara so much. It is my number one. But it is a devil to remove. It's so hard to remove. So it's not a mascara I like to use every day. I do love L'Oreal mascaras. I also love Maybelline mascaras. To be honest, the thing that takes it the most time in my routine, my makeup routine, is the mascara. I'm almost done. All I have to do is put some blush. And the blush I'll be using today is the one by Rare Beauty. It's the one in the shade Hope. 
This one was hard to find. I had to wait months to get this shade back in stock. And you only need the tiniest bit on your cheeks. You see how much that little dollop put on my cheek? I do love how easily blendable it is. It's just, it's done. That, that's how easily blended it is. I have so much left. This is going to last me a good year. I love my little Ugg mug. It's got the same color as my nails. I love these colors. And um, I got this at Walmart for like $5 maybe or less, which is always a good idea. Okay, so I'm almost done. All I have to do is put my lip product. And for today, I'm going to be using the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. One of my favorite lip glosses in the world. My favorite shade is Stone. I think it's the perfect shade for my skin tone. Whenever I have this on, my lips feel so hydrated and so soft. And it lasts a really long time on me. And I really, really like this shade. And there you have it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also, don't forget to ring that little bell to be informed when I upload, if YouTube allows it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!